one question before I ask uh, Arnab to ask you a question. You've spoken about the word nepotism. You've spoken about your father was in the Congress and yet you chose to be a solicitor general in the Vajpayee government. How did that work? One question. Second, diplomatically we've seen the Jadhav like, case that you what? Uh, the Jadhav case that you won. I also want to know today when we get diplomatic victory in the Navy officers who've now been brought back, how is this system in India really going to be seen? See, uh, it's always... Today, I don't think you see any real nepotism. And it's only, uh, hopefully, it's, it's in the fossils of history that it has now been put away. Yes, sir. I don't think any appointments in recent times can, you can point a finger and say so-and-so's nephew or so-and-so's uncle has been made. When I was to be made Solicitor General of India by the Vajpayee government, it mattered little to Vajpayee that my father was a member of parliament in the opposition party. And that's the mindset which they have to get. If you want talent, you can't hold people to uh, silly ideas like of their ideology or their parents' ideology or their uncle's ideology. Family should become irrelevant to your movement in life. The second is, how are we seen today? Today we are seen as a powerhouse. Today India is seen as a powerhouse. And the world, uh, look at the United Kingdom, the economy is in shambles and there is no hope in sight. Today, they are most worried about their wobbly political system. We don't know the next elections. Will Labour win? If it wins, will it win a clear majority? Right. Or are they going to be in this mess? And in the meanwhile, everything dwindles. People in England today worry about heating their homes in winter. And they call themselves a developed country. So, believe me, I mean, every, the infrastructure in United Kingdom is in shambles. Absolute shambles. And look at us, we are changing by the day. Yes, so, sir. India is seen as a powerhouse and yes. India is a powerhouse. Yes. And it's about time we showed the world we are one. I just have a couple of minutes because of the Prime Minister is coming and, you know, the security clearance. But I must ask, do you agree with the collegium system? In Bharat, the next decade, should the system of judges selecting and electing judges continue to be? I really want you to speak straight on this, sir. It should never have been and it should certainly not be. The collegium system should the collegium be scrapped. System the collegium system was a band-aid on a wound. The political system at that time had started completely destroying the judicial appointment process by deviating from convention. Believe me, some of our finest judges came from appointments by the government. Where did Chinnaparedi come from? Where did Dear Desai come from? Where did the great Krishnayar, the jurist, come from? Krishnayar was a communist from Kerala. He was in the communist government. He was made one of the finest judges ever. Are you Who willing, appointed him? Government of Are you willing appointed. to engage in a public debate with CJI, D.Y. Chandra Jude on this? What is there to debate? Show me one country in the world where judges appoint judges. And show me wow. one, show me one authority, wow. one sociological research which says if judges don't appoint judges, the independence of judiciary is compromised. Incredible. Today I'm getting a lot of headlines from the sports. No, Coming but that I've always said this. Wow. I, 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 let me take that. I, I don't agree. You are also, you are also on the committee on one nation, one election. Yes. yes. Therefore, you are advising on whether we can have all state and government elections together. Will it? Will the we see it happen? The committee is not me. Uh, no, the committee. You. But will we see it happen, or is it they're going to be deferred and deferred? Because I would like to comment. But would let's it happen? See. Would you like to see it happen? Well. Let's see. Can 2029 be a simultaneous election you, for states you'll, and centers? You'll know the report will be made public shortly. By, by when? Shortly. When shortly? Shortly. Quite short. Quite okay. short. Yes. But possible, in the realm of possibility. No, I don't want to comment. I <laughs> okay. don't want to One last one, Rhythm, and sure. then we have to go. Sir, exactly what Arnav was asking you. This is something we're very fond of. We want to know whether there will be simultaneous elections, but also shifting away from here. You're now living in the UK, a lighter question, a piano playing lawyer, someone whom, who should actually be called here to play the piano for us once, once upon a time. How are you, other than this, looking at your work? Do you think the Indian courts and the way they're working virtually is there to stay? See, a lot I'll of people you, miss him here as well. No, no, I should, I should tell you the basic difference and I put it in one sentence. You have to start working by a calendar and a diary. You have to stop working in a way where this is the problem with the Indian mindset. Your time is valuable, everybody else's time is hopeless. So a judge will fix your case and make you wait till 4 o'clock. Unheard of. I, know, I knew two months ago that on 11th Monday at 10 a.m. I'm appearing for the Enforcement Directorate 
in the High Court Chancery Division against Nirav Modi. Okay. I knew that two months ago. Yeah. So that's how the system works. And the case is fixed, the time is fixed, you go to the court, either somebody drops dead or the case settles or the case goes on. So the extradition is going to happen? This is not the extradition, this is attachment of but its own properties. But do you think for Malia and for Nirav? Extradition has been allowed in both the yes, cases, yes. it is waiting for a political sign off. Well, we feel so proud when we see you arguing at The Hague and, you know, we feel so inspired. I have one last you'll, question. You'll see me now arguing in the uh, European Court of Justice for the uh, athletes. Wow. You know, the athletes against whom they have said where their testosterone levels are high, that's Semenya. Yes. And others. And we challenge it on the ground that that is discriminatory yeah. because gender has to be binary. Yeah. You cannot create a third. Yeah. We had uh, success in the first round, but let's see. Well, I mean, I, you know, even all the judges wait for your every word when you're speaking. Your stature is incredible, but I have one last question. How do you say thank you to someone who has taken you out of jail? By staying out of it. No. No. Don't do anything no. which puts you back there. No, no. You never know who puts me back. I'm <laughs> going to call you. Uh, I, and I'll tell you how you can do that. You have to give me a hug on stage for that. Thank that you. I will. Happily.